All right, first take. We just made it to the airport. Um, going to Japan. Say hello, guys. Yep, that's what they do. Just made it to the Japan airport. Just landed. Really tired. Spent 12 hours on a plane. And I think we're gonna go get some food after we check in our bags. Landed into the hotel. Uh, well, I'll give you a little tour here in a second, but it's very small, but it looks comfortable. So, right here we have choose bed also known as Amanda and then there's me and Amelia set up give you a little 360 view TV this cupboard here this is the toilet and that door right there is the shower but yeah other than that this is our view Ain't nothing too crazy right now we had a little food on the airport airplane uh, they gave us. So all we really need to do now is get some more food. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, just want to reintroduce everyone since we were busy at the airport. So there's me, your wife, I was kidding. Um, and then there's Chu and Amelia. All right, so we have the first couple foods we got. Um, got my fruit sandwich here, my tea, a pudding right there, and then chicken. Look how juicy it is. Mm. Very good chicken from Japan. It's from a gas station basically. Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven, that's right. Crunchy, juicy. Doesn't taste super oily, and it's a little bit spicy. Mm. The next piece of stuff we have is my sandwich here. My cream sandwich. Bread in Japan, very light, very fluffy. Same thing with the cream. And even though you see these strawberries we got from a 7 Eleven, they're quite sweet, quite nice. Mm. Nothing to really complain about on the food so far. Not that there ever is, but very good. All right. You can't really get this in America. Well, technically you can, but you got to order it off like Amazon or something. But this is their milk tea. Um, it comes hot. Like the shelf it was on, it was for like warm drinks and it's not too hot, not too cold. Very refreshing and delicious. So, highly recommend basically any kind of milk tea in Japan. All right, so everyone, we're on our first adventure. We're going shopping. Uh, 
But this is just a normal street in Tokyo. No, nothing too crazy. And once we get close to the spot, I will show you what we're shopping for. So that's uni, sea urchin. This is bluefin tuna, also known as otoro. Then we have some of this other, whatever this stuff is, that scallops, eel, and salmon. Everyone besides me is kind of hitting the rocks pretty hard right now with the jet lag, so let us eat. Which one do you want to play? What did you want again? I forgot. So we're going to try the sea urchin first, everyone. Oh, I've already recorded my bed. This is what it looks like up close. And I have no words. Okay, now we're going to try the bluefin tuna afterwards. By the way, you could use soy sauce. However, honestly, you don't even need soy sauce for this bitch. Mm. Like, this is the crazy thing about Japan, guys. Like, all this food here is just natural resource that they have, all right? There's no seasoning on it, it's just rice, raw fish, and stuff like that. So, I am going to eat another one, and then I'm going to make some noodles, and I'll show you guys what that looks like too in a bit. That's sea urchin, look at that. Oi! See if they have in a relationship. Sea urchin in general, guys, would be super expensive in America, of course. This, however, I don't remember how much it was. wasn't too expensive. So, to put it in comparison, I've had bluefin tuna in Minnesota. And for like X amount of pieces, it's between forty to eighty dollars. Wide, wide range in price. Over here, you get two pieces for like eight bucks. Mm. All right. Good morning, everyone. Just woke up, brushed my teeth, and then it's time for some breakfast. I'll show you what we got today. So. I made a bowl of ramen. I mean, just like, look at that. All the ramen juice is stuck to the noodles. It even comes with this little piece of pork. And to finish it off, I'm gonna put some seaweed in there. Like this? Oh my gosh, there's more pieces of seaweed? All right, whatever. This is kind of what it's looking like. You cannot get this in America. So it looks I'm take a bite of the little pork. Lots of flavor in there. Did it just die? Wow. That bite was so good. Oh, we're going to wrap it in seaweed. Like, every bite was so flavorful, savory, a little bit sweet, and there's a lot of flavor in that little pork there. That was really good. All right, here's our second ramen we're eating for breakfast. Always forget what it's called, but it's got this big fried tofu in here with so much flavor. Mm. So much flavor. Always oh, delicious. This tofu too. Soaking up all the juices. 
and he slams the ring box onto the dinner table, looks in the eye, and says, All right, YouTube. So, me and Amanda here, say hello. We're going to the local convenience store. It's called Lawson. We're going to go pick up some more grub there. Then we're going to look for a vending machine. And I see one already. So let's go check it out. It's just over here. <sighs> Everything. It's kind of surreal. What? <sighs> let's see. These are the options. Don't know if I want anything here, but they got a peach drink. Yeah, Alright, so we found a vending machine we want. We want to get the Japanese Great Santa right there. So, there we go. Alright, go ahead, too. So you got your Great Fanta. Okay, so we have our soju drink, our rice, our beef curry is just cooling down a little bit, our marinated grilled chicken, and cheers. Let's see, I think it's right now, it's like 10.30 in the morning, but never hurts to start drinking early. Um, later on we're gonna go visit an old friend of mine and Amelia's, her name is Julie, and we'll see if we can get her permission to record what we're doing, so catch us then. Alright, so Amanda here is having the first couple bites of the grilled chicken, she can cut, she can just cut it with her spoon, there's the rice, the rice feels soft enough? Okay, okay. And curry. Oh. So all the food that I got, I got some drinks too. Everything was like less than twenty dollars. Oh. How is very good. All right, guys. So it's me and Amanda here. We're gonna go meet up with Amelia, and then after we meet up with her, then we're gonna go meet up with uh, uh, Julie, and then we'll see how everything goes. We're going to a bakery shop, so let's make sure that everything tastes good. Keep you out of it, Julie, unless you're okay with it. Oh, I'm totally fine. Okay. <laughs> Eating some this is chicken, right? Chicken. So we might be eating some raw chicken almost. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> though, so. <laughs> So the battery is low, but I'm currently going to go get my girlfriend's shoes because the shoes she has right now aren't giving her bliss.
Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> So I got my Wagyu here. I can't take it here, Yuki. Yes, Okay, it's time to dig into my Wagyu on a stick. Really scrumptious guy. I want that. That's the bus of the game. Say goodbye. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, Alright. I know I ate everything already, but we had some curry for breakfast today. I mean, look at that shit, look at that shit. Some biryani and some man. All right, everyone. We're currently outside, it's a little raining. There's everyone back there. And we're gonna go strawberry picking. So we'll see you in a little bit. Now eat it. Yo, I can't tell you how actually sweet these strawberries are. Nothing like what you get in America. 100% we'll try. Mm. Oh, she just ate another one. There's two. Wow. So delicious. We have the margarita pizza, and then we have some seafood pizza. Looks really good. Look at the octopus on that. Dish we have is the uni spaghetti. So you can see the uni and the right there. Everything. I got some salmon roll. Yeah. 
How does that taste? Okay. There we go. What does it taste like? Yeah. Hi everyone. We're going out for lunch today. Today is what, day four or something like that? We're going to eat, eat out in, how do you say it? Asukasa? Asukasa. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know what we're eating yet, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're at this place and I forgot what it's called, but this is what we're eating. How are we doing? This has been really good. So let's do a dip it in the egg yolk. What is that? Tofu. Tofu? Alright, so I'm currently venturing by myself and I've seen something pretty cool. Not quite sure what's down there, but looks decent. <sighs> looks pretty cool. And they've just got all this stuff nearby. <laughs> So we're just gonna go down the strip. Let's see. So I just made it to the next um, eating spot. There's a place here. We're we'll eating. All right. So this is gonna be a series of sushi we're eating. This is our first cut. There's the two ladies. Let's have its yellow tail and scallops. And we all get the same. She's eating. How is? Oh, I guess it's my turn, so let's see how this is. So keep in mind everything, everything with the thing is basically raw, so. So we've got uni today. This is one of our dishes. Chu, go ahead, take yours. I need to see you eat this. Chu claiming that one. Yeah, ash. So she's got to cleanse her palate real quick. Look at her. There's corn here. Eating. 
She could eat it all in one bite. Look at that. Hey, hey. Take your shit. Right? Is that is that mine? Yeah. Alrighty everyone, we got all these delicious snacks we're gonna eat today after our sushi dinner. So let's uh let's give it a shot. So guys, okay, good this is Hagen Dazs ice it's cream sandwich. We do not they have, have this in America. I don't think. Yeah, let's see what you want. <laughs> okay, here we go. Earl Grey. Oh my. Mm. Oh, there's too much. That's what Gomcha is known for. So this really? is like way yeah, for a cracker. Because they're such a big chain. And then you have your, I don't know, strawberry ice cream. This is what it is. Mm. You don't it's forget some. you have your grape panna. Oh, the trash is over there. This is the original flavor. Mm. It's really good. I don't even know how to describe it, but it tastes good. I knew you would like this one. I, really this What's that? I don't even know what this is, but it's chocolate. What is it? This is what it looks like. Do you want chopsticks, maybe? Wait, try it better than this black thunder. Mm. It's really good. This is good. Did you decide? Big, but what do you want to get? I need your opinion. Okay. What are the options? So we have this in really America, like the, but the this is almond, grape so Fanta. Mine do almond milk. And then you know, you can see everything like the Japanese on it. This is pure Japanese bread. Next up, we have our cream puff. Do you want to post that on YouTube? Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys see Mash Magic and Muscles, but he loves these things. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but the cream in Japan is always good too. This sounds like yours to me. I also got two slices of strawberry cake, whatever. But I'll see you guys tomorrow when I have breakfast. I was like, there's no fun, I forgot you. Alright, good morning everyone. Have a pretty simple breakfast today. Just some meatballs, hamburger steak, and then some of this dessert cake, whatever. Alright everyone, today's Chu's last day in Japan. Me and Amelia, we still have a week to go, but we're gonna go get some food before we send her off to the airport alone. And yeah, we'll show you when we get to the food. So we have our official bowl of ramen, everyone. Let's see how the bite tastes too. Uh, one cola. Let's try. 
the GoPro is about to die, so I'm gonna make this bike quick. Mm. That was really good. Today's better news. I went to my first official Japanese supermarket and I've got a, I've literally got a a bunch of goodies. So first things we got eggs. This is insane. So as you can guess, I got eggs. We're going to be making ramen. Um, but this is a little bit different this time around only because I've got some secret ingredients like this green onion already chopped up for me. Crazy. Um, I bought these sauces. I can't read it, but they look like you use them for meat. So when I get back to America, this is something I'm going to be using. So the first round is I got some sashimi. So as you guys can see, there's just some like surf clam, whatever all this stuff is, but looks really good. We're going to be eating that too. These are going to be like the appetizers before we um, make the main course. So the moment you guys been waiting for. Got a cola. And, oh, this is at the supermarket, Japanese Wagyu. This is, look at this, 1580 yen. So to, in, to put that in perspective, that's like a little over 10 bucks for this. And you guys might be wondering, Dave, how are you finna cook this shit? Well, I'm hood, you know what they say. No. But, well, you know, I should have got some gloves. Whoa. This. Look at that. Like, you cannot find that anywhere else. So crazy. Well, actually, I can probably cook one whole one. My hands are dirty now, so. Show you guys. This is what it looks like right now, but I promise you the finished product is going to be pretty good. Okay. So we're just going to heat up the water. Oh, I guess this is as hot as it can get. That's okay. Pour everything. What the chicken? Why is it coming out so little? Really good though. Wagyu. Nice and tender. That's really good. See. All right. I am back. That took a little longer than I thought, but obviously you guys wouldn't know that. Um, so there's my Wagyu. My rice and egg. And then a little dessert. I should be careful too. Seasoning is quite nice. Sweet, savory, obviously good with rice.
these two. Private room, and we're gonna have some grilled meat. So can't wait to show it. Yeah. So the first up from this is just some salads um, to give you guys good idea of the menu because I can't read this. Um, we can look at my phone here. So. Very popular. So we're having the first couple of bites now, and I can say I'm not a big salad eater, but the salad is really good. So let's try this. Okay. Tofu. Italian summer tofu. Alright, so you guys can hear me.
so this is our frog wa fried rice. Um, I don't know what meat's in there, but oh, frog wa. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, there's truffles in it. Hey, yeah, uh, you know, truffles are expensive, guys. But he was just like, psh, psh, psh. tell me how it tastes. Maybe we'll get to. Yeah. It's a little windy. More than a
getting late and it's kind of cramped so I can't show you guys eating it so I'm gonna eat it and turn the camera off but it's really cool around here I mean just this alone looks really cool it's a ride but we're not going on it the wait is too long dark because we're in this corner here but we got our um yeah see this this is what it looks like with the phone lighting but this is what it looks like with gopro lighting um so yeah let's try a fry mm. seasoned i don't know if you can see this but like oh this is like cheese this is like a Bacon cheeseburger with onion rings. Let's try to eat it for you guys. about what you can expect for a burger at, at Disney, so pretty good. Not amazing, but good. I agree. Can you help? We couldn't find straws either. I think you are supposed to sip it. So there's no holes in the straw. I see. Yeah, I think you're going to do it. You're supposed to be? 